what have we got here? Just a lot of winners. <laughs> a lot of winners. All right. Mom, thank you so much for bringing the kids down. And we're all set. We're going to break away for a few commercials and then, well, just a couple. Then we'll have our first cartoon. All right. Here we go. Hi, Joe. Elda's here from the Arizona Humane Society with a kitty up for adoption. Well, tell us something about this kitty. Okay, it's a domestic short hair. Her color is called a calico, basically a, more of a tortoise shell, really. Mm -hmm. It's another breed of a type of a calico. Uh -huh. She's a female. She's about three months old. And she goes up for adoption today at 3 o'clock. That's right. And what is the charge? All cats are $30, and you get the spay and neuter certificate plus the feline respiratory vaccination. Ah. And we do hand out the little kitten care package with some free kitten chow with them. Okay. And you also give name tags, too. Mm -hmm. Identification right. tags. And that's free. Right. Okay. Well, thank you, Ella. And hope we find a home for that cute little kitty. Okay, Wobble, well, I'm ready. Ladmo. Yes. Besides the kitty, we got a doggy. Officer Doug is here with his dog, and we'll meet Flair, the doggy, in just a little while. Uh, oh, Rita's here. Rita, what's the deal on the show? Oh, hi, Rita. Rita Davenport, we want to know the latest news on the fall schedule. What's happening? I know, glasses. I've never been on television with glasses before. This you look great. Thank it's you very first. much. Another Bill Rose. Um, it's going to be back on Saturday morning. Hey! Hey! Look. Everybody, so hey, nice. Yippee, yes, hey, yes. Thank yes. you very much. That's my mother. Thank you very much. Uh, no, it's going to be back on in the fall. It, I think Saturday morning. I don't know exactly what time. Dick, do you know what time? 10 o'clock? 10 a.m. in the morning. Ooh, okay. So we'll get to see people that maybe have been working all week that didn't get to see us before. Isn't that great? We're delighted. Yes, thank yes. You, you. Okay. Glad to be back and remember, I've got gumpkies if you ever need a cook. Okay, well. Okay. <laughs> so you want people to start calling pretty soon to be on the audience? Yes. In fact, today, as a matter of fact, we're, we're going to be doing our show at 1245. And all of you that are out there would like to come down and see Diane Thomas, who's a okay. regular on the Today Show. She's our special guest. And you're invited be here because we're going to have lots of good food to eat and celebration at 1245 today at TV5. Okay, that's for a taping. Yes, taping. Right. for a taping. Okay. But we're going to be taping today. So okay. Great. Right. Thank you, Rita. All right. All right. That's well, good I'm, news. I'm glad Rita's oh, yeah, yeah. back on. She was having a little summer vacation, but she's coming back on. Okay, Ladmo, uh -huh. it's time to play call again. Oh, yet. I'm ready. I've got the cars. There's a lot of cars in that barrel, wall, boy. Mixing them up. Richie, and okay, way down there. Here it is. Here we go. Have you sent your card in with your name and phone number? Please do. You haven't? Right. Well, yes, if you haven't, send your name and telephone number to Call a Kid, Post Office Box 20100, Phoenix, Arizona. 85036 is the zip code. Now remember, make sure your name and telephone number is on that card. Hey, we put it in a barrel, we spin it, pull it out, call you up and invite you down to get a Ladmo bag. It's ringing. Ah. Oh, the op I'm getting a recorded message that says I have to dial a one first. A one? That means it's long distance. Okay, yeah. the other side of Mesa. No. The other side of Oh, that's that's right. The east side, we're over there. That's okay, that's okay. We're going to call. We, go. we can get through. Yeah, as long as you have your name, your telephone number, we can always add the one. Now, I hope they're home and the line's not busy. Yeah, that would be nice. It's ringing. All right. Hi, Randy. Did you see that? Hello, is this Thad or Rose? Neither. Oh, have I got Mrs. Wick or Mrs. Thomas? Mrs. Wick, who's this? This is Wallace, and Ladmo's standing right here. Your car just got picked out. Say hi, Ladmo. Hi, congratulations. You win a Ladmo bag. Oh, All right. Kidding. Mrs. Wick, will you talk to me for a second on TV? I sure will. I want you to bring Thad, and I guess Thad added Rose's name onto the card here, too, so they both got to come down, be on the show, and get their Ladmo bags. Good deal. Give me a hug and I'll give you a Ladmo bag too. Oh, I will. All right. Most definitely. Listen, I'm going to call you back in a couple of minutes, make all the arrangements about coming down uh, to be on the show, and we'll schedule what day is convenient for you, okay? All righty. Okay. Thank you. I'll call you right back. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Our winners, Thad oh, Wick and Rose Thomas. There we are. And Come in. Oh, look at this. It's Bob on the Cloud. Hey, Bob. Come on in here. What you been up to? I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been working on my new job. Oh, what's that? What's that? Parkway clown for the city of Phoenix. 
Well, what's a Parkway clown? I well, just finished a mile at a Squaw Peak Parkway, right? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. So to celebrate, they hired me. Oh, well, what do you do? I had a festive atmosphere. Oh, how do you do that? Like this. <laughs> then what do you do? Dodge cars, mostly. Dodge cars? Why? Because a lot of drivers object to me blocking traffic by going, <laughs> Well, is that all you do? Hmm? Is that all you do? No, it's not all I do. I have an important function. Uh, what's that? Traffic clown. Traffic clown? Explain, please. But the traffic lights aren't up yet, so I use the dots on my suit to control traffic. Really? Yeah, I stand in a street. Uh-huh. And uh, let me see. When I point, see, to the yellow dot. Yeah, yeah. And traffic slows down. Oh, uh-huh. And I point to the red dots. <laughs> traffic stops. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, well, you don't have any green dots. How do you get the traffic moving? <laughs> 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 We're going to meet some Ladmo bag winners, starting with, what is your name? Jennifer. And? <laughs> Next to Elizabeth is? Allison. Rebecca. Rebecca. We have another row of winners, and what is your name? Samantha. There's Samantha. And Jeff. And there's Jeff. And they have their Ladmo bags filled with lots and lots of good stuff. If we have time later on, we'll check what's in a Ladmo bag. Excuse me, gang, because it's now time to... Check out some funny pictures. Oh, right. The kids have been sending in funny pictures of people on the show. Uh-huh. Here's a picture of Jody, sent in by Sherry Maston. There we are right there. All right. And I guess it's her brother, Oh, no, it's Sherry, too, sending both of them. Also, a picture of Ladmo. Oh, look at that. Picture of Ladmo. Okay. And Jennifer Oliver sending a picture of Wallace. Uh-huh. And Kim Kalb sending a picture of Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> there it is right there. Okay. Okay, Ladmo. Yes, we want those kids to come down and get Ladmo back. You're absolutely right, because they're funny picture winners, right, and we'd like right. to see your, your artwork. And it's time now for the whistling contest. Oh, yeah. And uh, for this, we need a couple of contestants. Uh, one contestant is Jody of the Pink Berets. Okay. And here comes our second contestant right now, Gerald. Let's hear it for Gerald. <laughs> Just one tiny little non-whistling greeting. <laughs> Disgusting. Let the tournament begin. Our first whistler is Gerald. What are you going to whistle for us, Jer? Well, I call it the Song of the Morning Dove, in which I recreate the woeful, yet beautiful sound of the loveliest bird in the entire world. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> But I think it's enough. <laughs> it was good. And our second whistler is Jody. Take it away. Okay. I am going to recreate the woeful yet beautiful sound of an oncoming train. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. It's not fair. Wait, wait, one what? Minute. That is not fair. She cheated. She used a wooden whistle. Look. The rule is you can only whistle using your own two lips. That's it. Disqualification. No, wait a minute. Hold it. Let's out. let the kids decide. Why? We'll put this to a vote. Now, how many vote for Gerald, who did everything fair and square and above board? Yes. <laughs> how many vote for Jody, who used questionable tactics and knowingly broke the rules of the contest? Jody wins, Gerald loses. <laughs> what kind of values are you creating? To survive a cut. Well, Officer Doug Cassidy's here from the Phoenix Police Department, and what are we gonna talk about today? I wanna talk about the kids and their pets. And I brought my pet down here today. As you can see, it's a dog. That's what most kids have got of dogs. 
You know, when we've got a pet like this, we have a lot of responsibility. We have to make sure, especially if it's a dog, if we keep it outside, it's got plenty of water, plenty of shade. We have to make sure that it can stay reasonably cool during a, the summer. And right now, with the temperatures as high as they are, you know, a lot of people like to travel with their dogs. And if you travel with them, you want to make sure that you don't leave them in the car. It'll get maybe up to 150 degrees here in the valley in those cars, and that can be very, very serious for a dog. One other tip is if you have a dog that he's kept outside, you might want to put a plate pool or something out there for him to, to cool off in because they cool off through the pads. So if you can get their pads cool, that kind of works like a cooling system for them. You want to stay right here for a little bit, right? <laughs> Just some tips in the, as far as keeping them in the, in the car. That is the law. You can't lock your dogs up in the car if you travel somewhere here in the valley. True. And we have broken some windows to get those dogs out. It's real important. Yeah, be yeah. nice to your pets. Your doggy's one of your best friends. Okay. Doug, I'll walk you out. Okay. Come okay. on, Flair. See you, Flair. Come Thanks for coming by. All right. Okay, gang. I, wait a little. Who got you? Come in. Oh. Hi, Captain Super. <laughs> That's it. Oh, hi, Captain Super. You don't... You don't even look happy to see me. Wait a minute. Do you like me? Yeah, 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 I like you okay. Just okay? How about admire and respect, huh? How about those? Yeah, a little of those, too. How about worship and revere? Don't press it. I sense hostility, that's what I sense. Bad oh, vibes, quit bad worrying. Vibes. I think a lot of you, but not as much as you do. Sarcasm, Ladmo, is beneath you. Also, it is sheer folly to make me the object of your verbal abuse. A hero of my stature is above reproach. Well, tell me, Captain Super, if you had it all to do over again, would you still fall in love with yourself? Ladmo, the world is divided into two groups. One, those who love Captain Super, and two, those who don't know any better. The latter shall perish, the former will inherit Captain Super. And so it is not too late to cast your lot and yours with the one, the only Captain Super. Hear me, O oh faithful followers. Do not, do not be turned aside by the cynical, suspicious jibes and jeers of the ignorant. For I am the answer to peace and happiness. Mark my words, those who do not declare their loyalty to me shall be turned into zagnut bars and devoured by my disciples. The wrath, the wrath of Captain Super shall be a terrible thing to behold. Hold it, wait just a second, just, hold it just I, a second, oh, wait a minute. Ah. That is the most ridiculous bunch of hot air I've ever heard. Really? Yeah. I kind of liked it. I, mean, I thought it had a, a really zealous ring to it. You didn't like it, though. No, 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 no. I'll tell you what. Try again. Okay, see how this hits you. Okay. All right. Let me see. A day of reckoning is approaching. Stand up and be counted in the corner of Captain Super. Friend of patriotic tradition. Enemy of socialistic reform. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Captain Super, Captain Super. Ha ha. <laughs> Who says conservatives, conservatives don't have a sense of humor, huh? Who said that? Wait a minute. I didn't like that one either. I, that was awful, terrible. Look, couldn't you just do a fast, simple exit line? No. Quick. Uh, all right, let me see. Uh, how about something like this? Okay. I love you too, boys and girls. Bye-bye and bless you. Wait, wait, wait. Once more, with feeling. With feeling. I love you too, boys and girls. Bye-bye and bless you. More emotion. More? Yeah, more emotion, more sentiment, more sincerity. I love you too, boys and girls. Bye-bye. And bless you. Wow, ah! oh, good, good. Uh, I felt it that time. You did too. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Uh. oh.
just a few minutes, we'll be going back over to the studio audience to find another lucky seat winner, but I'd like to find out exactly what are you putting in these bags lately. Okay, let me show you what we have. Clover Club potato chips from Swenson's ice cream and a baseball ticket to see the fireworks play. Chippers from Aunt Loretta up in Payson. That's candy. And a free burrow ride from Rawhide. Sun clusters from David. And we have sunflower seeds, Jumbo California kind. A button. Slurpees from 7-Eleven. Lots of candy. And whoop. Where we got right here? We have Nabisco nips. That's in a new box too, old boy. Crush, cream soda, crush. Whoppers, chocolate cover, malted. And we have Billy Bob Bucks. There's Billy Bob Bucks. Oh, from Rainbow, we have, da 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 uh, What's that? Raisin Nut Rolls. Ooh, from Slush Puppy, a coloring book with coupons on the back. Regal Crown Candy, mints, all kind of good stuff in a Landmo bag. What's the bakery now? That's uh, Rainbow. Oh, yeah, Dana. Uh -huh. That's good. Rainbow Patty Cake. A uh, reminder from our director, Sharon Kelly, when Rita's show comes back on in the fall, it'll be 8 in the morning, not 10. We made a mistake earlier. Oh. Now it's time to check the bulletin board. The bulletin board. Oh, ho. birthday parties. That's right. Thursdays and Mondays. Every Monday and Thursday at Showbiz Pizza. If you have a birthday coming up and you want to celebrate with Landlo, just call the Showbiz Pizza Parlor in Mesa at 834-9322 for reservations. Now make sure mom or dad calls to make the reservations. They start at 6.30 on Monday. Then on Thursday, we're on the west side, 35th Avenue in Northern, for the birthday parties there. 973-1945 is the number to call for reservations. And the birthday kids, they get a Ladmo bag, and we have games, prizes, and lots and lots of fun at the Ladmo birthday parties. You know, Ladmo, I wonder who won that contest that Dan Horn was putting on. Taking Orson's place? Let's find out as we join Dan and Orson now. Orson. Orson, do you know what I have here? Well, processed wood pulp, otherwise known as paper. This is the winner of the Take Orson's Place contest. Go ahead. Read it. Kick me out. Let me drop by the wayside. Don't give a thought about dashing my career to pieces. Or to what I'll do. Where I'll go after this. Go ahead. Read it. I don't care. Okay, the winner is... Don't you dare... <laughs> Hey, give me that. Give it to me. No. All right. The winner is... You can't... Hey! All right. The winner is Michael Wood, 315 West Palomino and Chandler. Michael, come on down and take Orson's place before he does some real physical damage to me here. It's almost time to say goodbye, but before we leave, we want to find one more lucky seat winner. I have the seating chart right here. I have a lot to back for that winner, one way. Oh, good. Stop, front row, to your left, the second seat over. One, two, one, <laughs> two right here. What is your name? JC. <laughs> JC is our winner. Okay. okay. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow with the whole gang. Dan will be here with Cassandra. Jody, what have you got planned for tomorrow? Um, I think I'll bring a whistle that sounds like an airplane. Okay, another whistle from Jody. Captain Super will be here. Gerald will turn on the time machine. Ladmo will be bringing Ladmo bags, plenty of old cartoons. But most important of all, we hope that you'll be here. Right. Okay, we're well, watching because we couldn't do it without you. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. we'll see you tomorrow at yeah. 7 o'clock. Oh, boy. Yes. Don't forget to uh, live we'll present you at 3 o'clock in the afternoon with different cartoons. We got Thundercats and we've got She Ra, too. Good. I watch it all the time. Bye, everybody. Next on TV5, it's the Transformers bringing you 30 minutes of intergalactic robot battles. Then today at 3, Ladmo Presents comes your way with an hour of cartoon fun and prize goodies. Thank <laughs> you.